and open source software has unveiled a groundbreaking electric motor design that incorporates multi-material 3D printing. This innovative motor features an intertwined stator and coil assembly, raising questions about its potential as the motor of the future. Furthermore, the advent of artificial intelligence has prompted a comparison between its efficiency and human engineering capabilities. We explore the modern motor components electric motor, its various components, and the significance of efficiency and power density measurements. Additionally, we delve into the challenges and advancements in material science, as well as the merits and drawbacks of different motor designs. Electric motors, such as the modern motor components electric motor, consist of multiple components, including a fixed stator and a movable rotor. The interaction between these components generates a magnetic flux, enabling rotational movement of the motor shaft. While motors can be made with different materials, their efficiency and power density are crucial factors. Efficiency refers to the ratio between power input and output, while power density represents the amount of power output per unit volume. Power density and motor types. Various motor types exhibit different power density characteristics. Synchronous motors, for instance, can achieve high efficiency levels, with some models reaching up to 97%. However, Power density varies significantly between induction and permanent magnet motors. For optimal performance in terms of both efficiency and power density, permanent magnet motors are preferred despite their higher cost. On the other hand, induction motors are more cost-effective, but they present limitations such as speed control issues, lower efficiencies at low loads, and inadequate starting torque. While magnet-free designs, such as the ones introduced by Tesla, ZF, and Mali, aim to overcome these challenges, they require modifications to be suitable for electric vehicles. Advancements in 3D Printing and Material Science The emergence of 3D printing technology has paved the way for exciting developments in motor design. The ability to 3D print copper coils, for instance, offers intriguing possibilities. Laser powder bed 3D printing enables the creation of complex shapes, resulting in fascinating magnetic fields. Algorithmic engineering now allows for custom-made copper coil designs, which can be fabricated using additive manufacturing techniques. However, the motor core remains a challenge. Traditional assembly of metal steel laminations can potentially be replaced by additive manufacturing allowing for greater design freedom and the development of transversal flux, multi-axle, and even spherical motors. Notably, companies like Kahn have showcased unconventional motor designs that deviate from the traditional lamination steel process. The Pico GK prototype. Pico GK, an open source software, recently released a prototype motor design that demonstrates the capabilities of computational engineering. Utilizing the SLM Solutions machine, the motor's various parts are printed using a multi-material powder deposition solution. While the rotor and housing are printed from steel, the coils are made from 3D printed copper. This achievement marks the first instance of customized data coil assemblies. Future iterations may incorporate soft magnetic composite materials, leveraging multiple laser scanners and drums. Soft magnetic composites offer advantages as they are electrically non-conductive and facilitate the inclusion of cooling channels. However, conductivity loss within the 3D printed copper coil remains a challenge that can potentially be mitigated through further heat treatment. It is important to note that while laser-based powder fusion shows promise in producing complex motor components, the economic feasibility of applying this production technique universally is still uncertain. But how does his motor compare to other electric motors on the market? And what are the advantages and disadvantages of his invention? Let's find out. Electric motors are devices that convert electrical energy into mechanical energy and vice versa. They are widely used in various applications, such as industrial machines, household appliances, and transportation. There are many types of electric motors, but they all have some common components, such as a stator, a rotor, 
a commutator, and a power source. The stator is the stationary part of the motor that contains coils of wire that create a magnetic field. The rotor is the rotating part of the motor that contains magnets or coils that interact with the magnetic field. The commutator is the part of the motor that switches the direction of the current in the coils, creating a rotating motion. The power source is the part of the motor that provides the electricity, such as a battery, a generator, or a grid. Alex says my motor is different from other electric motors because it doesn't have a commutator and it doesn't need a separate power source. It uses a special arrangement of magnets and coils to create a magnetic field that rotates the motor. It also uses a feedback mechanism to increase the voltage and frequency of the electricity, creating a resonance effect that boosts the power and efficiency of the motor. It can run on any source of electricity, including solar, wind, or water, and it can generate more electricity than it consumes, creating a surplus of energy that can be used for other purposes. And expert says Alex's motor is very impressive, and it has some advantages over other electric motors. For example, it has a simple and compact design, which makes it easy to build and maintain. It has a high power to weight ratio, which means it can deliver a lot of torque and speed with a small and light motor. It has a low noise and vibration level, which makes it smooth and quiet. And it has a high efficiency and reliability, which means it can save energy and last longer. Experts also indicate that, however, Alex's motor also has some disadvantages and challenges. For example, it has a high voltage and frequency, which means it can be dangerous and harmful to humans and animals. It has a high electromagnetic interference, which means it can affect other electronic devices and signals. And it has a low scalability and compatibility, which means it can be difficult to integrate with existing systems and standards. But what do the investors think of Alex's invention? Will they support him or reject him? Will they invest in him or sue him? Alex has been invited to pitch his motor to a group of investors who are interested in funding new and promising projects in the field of clean energy. They have seen his videos and heard his claims, and they want to see his motor in action and ask him some questions. The investors are impressed by Alex's invention, but they are also skeptical about his claims and plans. They have to decide whether to invest in him or not, and how much to offer him. They have to weigh the risks and rewards, and the pros and cons, of backing him up.